Yo, what is up everyone, and welcome back to another video. In this video, I want to go over how to animate still images in Final Cut Pro 10. Now, there are, of course, tons of different ways to animate still images in Final Cut, but the effect that I'm going to go over is the Ken Burns effect. As you can see right here, this is what the Ken Burns effect looks like right here. It just zooms in and zooms out and creates this really smooth um, animation. As you can see right here, that's what it looks like right here. So you can either zoom in or you can use the animation to zoom out and I'll show you how to do both. So I'm gonna go ahead and just create a new project um, right here. We'll just call this um, the weekend right here. Now in terms of frame rate right here, I would encourage you, especially if you're doing uh, commentary videos, like you know, voiceover videos or commentary videos, I, I would always encourage you to use 60 frames per second or like 59.98. Um, I would choose um, one of these, especially if you plan on animating photos, I would always use 60 frames per second. For commentary videos, so next time you watch a commentary video, go ahead and you know, check you know where you can find you know, the resolution, and you'll see next to the resolution, nine times out of ten, it'll say 60 frames um, per second. So you can see there you go. Now I just have a 60 frames per second project, or well, 1080p um, 60 frames per second uh, project. So I'm gonna go ahead and let's just say let's go ahead and find a photo that we want to use. Let's say we want to use this photo right here. So let's go ahead and just import the photo right here. So we just have a, a photo of the weekend right here. Now a couple of little tips and tricks that I would always do, as you can see right here, if I go to transform right here, if I go to transform, as you can see, the photo isn't completely filling up the screen. Now you, you really can't tell because the background, they're both black, but it's not filling up the screen. So what you wanna go, go to spatial conform, and then go over here to fill right here and there you go as you can see right here now the photo is filling the frame but there's a little bit of over here in the top and the bottom and that can sometimes affect the Ken Burns effect so what I would do especially if you adjust the position or the rotation or anything like that I would go ahead and create a compound clip because basically what a compound clip does is it resets the clip so I click on option G right here I'll go ahead and click on and just type in photo one all that's doing is a compound clip is it's basically just resetting everything so if I go to transform right here as you can see there's nothing on the bottom and nothing on the top so by creating a compound clip you're basically just resetting um, the clip right there now what you want to do is head over here to this icon right here this drop down arrow now you want to go to crop right here so under crop right there so there we go now we're on crop right here now what you want to do is you want to head over here to Ken Burns right here click on this icon right here and there you go now this is what the Ken Burns effect um, should look like as you can see right here here is a start and end point so you basically adjust this so let's say for example I want the start point right here I want to go ahead and adjust the start right here and I want to you know, I want to start kind of zoomed in um, on his glasses right here and then I can take the end I can either leave it or maybe I want to take the end and then I want the the animation to end here so this is where the animation starts and then this is where the animation ends right here so you can see right here it starts zoomed in so this animation is basically going to create a zoom out right here so I'll wait for Final Cut to render a little right here and then as you can see right there voila Final Cut is just zooming out right there and there you go now you have a nice Ken Burns you can see the animation starts slowly ease out so it just creates like a nice smooth kind of ease out right there now let's say what let's say for example I don't want it to um, zoom out I want it to zoom in we'll go back over to crop go over to this icon right here and then you can flip it right here so there you go now it starts zoomed out and now it's going to zoom in so you go ahead you can press this icon right here and now as you can see right here now it's zoomed out now we have a final cut to render now it's going to zoom in right there so that's pretty much it you basically just go ahead and adjust the start and end and then you can go ahead and flip the animation um, if that's what you want now you're wondering okay how do I disable um, the animation we'll go back over here under Ken Burns and select either crop or trim or crop so I go ahead and click on trim now it's no longer on the Ken Burns effect and if I play it right here there you go the Ken Burns effect is not active so that's basically how you disable the Ken Burns uh, effect so let's say for example, what if you have a vertical video and you don't want to just fill that to the entire screen. So you can see right here, there we go. Now we have a vertical video. I can go ahead and try to zoom up and have it fill the entire screen, but that can look really, really weird. So I wouldn't encourage you to go ahead and do that. So what I would do is I would take this option, create a copy. So all I did right there was I just created a copy. I'm gonna go to the bottom clip right here. 
I'm going to go to spatial conform and I'm going to go ahead and click on fill. And there, because you can see right here, it's filling the entire screen. And obviously, that does not look nice. So, what I'm going to do is go over here to blur, go over to Gaussian blur right here. So, as you can see right here, here is a Gaussian blur right here. I'll wait for Final Cut to render. And then maybe let's type in, I, would, I don't know, maybe like 25. I would say probably 25 or 30. Probably looks the best. So, you can see right there, you go to the background, it looks blurry, but it looks okay. But the, 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 it, there's not really much depth between the, the the front photo the front uh, the front photo and the back one so i'm going to go ahead and just type in border right here so simple border right here go ahead click on the photo right here and then as you can see we go there you go now basically kind of creates this polaroid effect let's go over here and let's change it to white so basically what that helps do is it just helps create depth between the foreground and the background now i'm going to go ahead and select both these clips right here option g and we'll just call this um, photo two right here. And there you go right here. That's what it looks like right here. And of course, there's no Ken Burns um, effect. So let's go ahead and select on the crop right here and then Ken Burns. And as you can see right there, there we go. So it starts right here. You can go ahead and let's just, you know, this is kind of the default. So let's leave it at the default right there. And then as you can see right here, the photo should just zoom out right here and voila as you can see right here there we go now the photo is just zooming out right there so that's basically what you want to do if you have like a vertical video a vertical photo obviously you don't have to do that but i think it just looks better than just zooming in on the photo and you can just kind of create this look which i think is a very you know different um and unique look okay so let's say for example i don't want to use the ken burns effect i can i want to use you know, want a keyframe right here so if you want to keyframe the scale you can also go to scale right here click on keyframe right here and now go to the point you want to zoom in i'm just going to place a marker right here and let's change this to like uh, 130 right there so you can see right here all i do is just animated the or keyframe the scale right there so i change it to 130 and as you can see right here there we go so you can also keyframe the scale right here. You could also keyframe the position if you want. You just want to go ahead, start, go to the starting point where you want to start, place a keyframe, or you can place a keyframe on position. So just add a keyframe right here. And then what you want to do is you want, you want to go to the start point, click um, the add keyframe button, and then you want to go to the point where you want to um, have the animation stop. So let's go ahead and click M right here and let's change and then you can go and you want to go ahead and change the value to 100 there you go and that's pretty much that's basically the, the um, basics of a keyframe right here you just basically you you're setting a start point and then you're setting an end point and as you can see right here there you go now the position move position is moving and the scale is moving right there and voila you have a really cool um you know animation um uh right there and that's pretty much it so you can e either use the ken burns effect or you can animate it using um keyframes anyways hopefully you enjoyed this video hopefully you found it helpful and informative if you're new to this channel i upload final cut pro 10 tutorials every week at 10 a.m eastern standard time so if you enjoy these types of videos definitely consider hitting that subscribe button also have a playlist with over 270 final cut pro 10 tutorials so definitely go ahead and check out that playlist anyways i'll see you in the next one peace